Hello everybody and welcome back to Doom Eternal. It's a game I've not played in a very damn long time and was taken off guard pretty much like everybody else was yesterday with the huge reveal for Ancient Gods Part 2. And everyone was really worried that we were going to have to uh, wait a couple of months for that DLC to drop and then in the last five seconds of the trailer it's like drops tomorrow guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Right. Nice. Uh, custom controls. Nice. Yes. All right. Yes. So, what is it I played last time? It was extra life mode. <laughs> and then it was hurt me plenty. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw us straight in. Um, and then I'm going to do some announcements and stuff afterwards. But yeah, Doom Eternal. I like the new main menu music as well. Although I do miss Mick Gordon still. Okay, okay, okay. So, Doom Eternal Mastery. Now you have all the tools you need to succeed in Doom Eternal. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right, so, it's been a damn long time since I've played this. There we go. All right, so let me get my uh, loadout back to what it normally is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so weird. So, yeah, uh, I like the... Anyway, yeah, as I was going to say, <laughs> um, I really like the new uh, music. It seems like it's gone kind of back to its uh, old self, which uh, that was my only massive like critique, if you will, of Ancient Gods Part 1 was that the music felt really off. But uh, that little intro there, <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Nice, so I've got a blood punch. I like the fact that it tells you all of your uh, different like ammo types and stuff now around the crosshair. Unnecessary blood punch because, you know. Anyway, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Speaking of unnecessary things, what runes does it put on? Uh, destroying a weak point generates, yeah. This one, which really sucks because it would be the perfect one for extra lives mode. Uh, gain speed boost after glory kill. Uh, all right. So what ones have I got? <laughs> so I've got perform glory kills faster. Not necessary. Also not necessary. <laughs> also very not necessary. Uh, greater movement in air. Fantastic. 
Uh, survive one death blow and briefly slow time to give you a chance to recover. Rune recharges on dare. Made out to temporary slow time. Uh, hmm. No, let's go for that one. <laughs> and shockwave of health on death. There we go. The uh, extra control in air is like the best rune in the game and there's nothing you can tell me otherwise. All right, come on. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be like that, is it? Uh, bam. I'm really not looking forward to uh, the old... What are they called again? Banshees or something like that? But I'm very happy I uh, started to use the microwave gun in <laughs> in the old DLC. Because it's the only, I think one of, if not the genuine only tool I didn't use in the base game. So the DLC gave me a chance to explore some newer -er -er things. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested to see the, the direction that they're going to take this. Oh, I saw this in the trailer. It looks awesome. All right. All right wrong thing. <laughs> and I still screwed it up. <laughs> so you actually have to, like, cut off from it. A bit like that, but better. <laughs> Alright, meat hook, grapple points. Uh, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I can tell you now I'm going to be screwing up a lot of parkour in this game. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I really love the little arcade noises as well. Makes me feel like I'm good at the game. So I'm really confused. Are we going to fight the Dark Lord once before we get to that place? Or not? Uh, you know what, actually? Let's have the super shotty on. And the plasma rifle. <laughs> Doom Eternal always does really good on this channel as well. So that's like something I'm interested in seeing. <laughs> Alright, Screech is buff active. Not looking forward to this. Um, um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it is that they do, so... I've just realised I've got the wrong grenade on. <laughs> oh, does it make them immune to uh, status effects? Man, I've got to get back into my FPSs. I've been playing Gears of War and only Gears of War the past couple of days. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I probably should have read what that screecher thing does. There we go. <laughs> Man, I missed this. go. I saw a lot of critics and uh, and other people, I guess, on the Xbox Marketplace saying that this game sucks because it doesn't give you ammo. <laughs> uh, I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the game doesn't give you a lot of ammo for a specific weapon because it wants you to switch around your playstyle, all right? Not what I was going for there, but you know what? <laughs> Thank God it starts you off at max level on everything. Uh, <laughs> if my health wasn't maxed. <laughs> I heard a wolf. Is that another wolf up there? Yeah, so we've got to do more of a escorting and stuff. I saw this thing blocked off while I was uh, minding my own business over there. <laughs> Right. Hello, wolf boy over here. Hello. What do I do? <laughs> uh, oh, is it this stuff? Do I have to let him 
Yeah. This is gonna suck. Buff totem. Can I leave this area? Oh wait, no I can't, yeah. <laughs> Not necessary, but you know what, screw it, violence. <laughs> it's these things that screw me up. Nice. <laughs> it felt really weird taking off my Doomicorn skin as well. <laughs> There you go. I think this is the winning combo right here. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> there you go. I'm far from the best at this, but you know what? I have so much fun playing it. <laughs> <gasps> Jesus Christ. Yes. how much these things knock you about, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lose an extra life already. Come on. <laughs> I wish my... I wish my grenade would hurry up and reach out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> Nice. The music seems a little bit loud, but not, not loud, quiet, that's the one. <laughs> but it definitely sounds like it's got the, like the heaviness of it, you know. <laughs> Still feels a little bit repetitive in comparison to the like, dynamic changing of the audio and stuff that was happening with the old songs, but it's definitely been a lot better than other stuff so far. his mace. Oh, okay. So in other words, <laughs> this. Nice. I wonder whether we'll see the Armored Baron make an appearance in multiplayer. Nice. Did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> well, that one. I don't know why I was trying to reload in Doom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to keep this on microwave mode just in case. Uh, I don't want to walk past any obvious secrets, you know? supposed to go with that, so. <laughs> oh, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> there we go. I've effectively used it in combat. <laughs> oh, okay, I see somebody down here that I didn't want to encounter again so soon. <laughs> It's going to be so much easier and cheaper to damage their armor using something other than the microwave, but why bother with something else that's easier when you can use something that's, wait, cheaper when you can use something that's easier, that's, that's what I was going for. <laughs> time on that one. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, so close. <laughs> oh, 
At least I know they're going to be giving me a lot of ammo for the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> the first parts of these videos are always like really long. And then the other parts are uh, subs subsequently shorter, I think is the right way of saying it. them off, I hope. <laughs> I had to open my stupid mouth, didn't I? <laughs> now, what have I got ammo for? What don't I got ammo for? Uh, so I need to change some as much as I don't want to use it. <laughs> I screwed up that ice and it's so bad. see a really funny meme actually on the uh Doom subreddit it's about how uh, when you finally realize that the icon of sin was a getting started box <laughs> i just thought it was one of those one of those when you sit there and think about it hard enough <laughs> it looks like there's a secret up there you know ah okay that didn't let me hmm so I'm wondering whether they knew you could use it to launch yourself up there. And that's going to be the way that we end up actually having to go. Huh. Look, I know the way that we've got to go is over here because it's pretty obvious, but... You know. Secrets. <laughs> the game gets better with them. Alright, so I need to find a way of opening that because, God, I'm going to struggle. Ready for that. Okay. Nice. There's got to be a secret back there, right? There just has to be. No, no, it's just respawning ammo. Okay. Uh, armor, sorry. Nope. Nope. <laughs> really nothing? Okay. Fine. I'll let it fly. Bend it. <laughs> uh, bam. There we go. Don't know why I was being so uh, long about that. I had full armor and health the whole time. <laughs> Probably my favorite execution right then. Uh. Uh, I really feel like I'm wasting my blood punch. Hmm. What to do about that? Uh, definitely screwing up the reload was not part of the plan. <laughs> Glory kills. The way forward. Uh, 
Uh huh. That's another wasted blood punch. <laughs> oh yeah, I just realised that uh, the concussive blasting worked. Then. There we go. <laughs> All right. And what we really need is some of this. It really does just overwhelm you with everything in the DLC. But I feel like that's where Doom shines, you know, when you're just completely surrounded by everything. So I thought I had found a secret with that wolf, but no. Uh, this? Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, do I just have to kill this one? Nope. Why did I even ask the question? Hmm. There we go. I go very quiet when I'm playing this game sometimes. Nice. And... <laughs> Bam. Question mark. See, here I was again thinking, hey, I found a secret. Clearly not. What is this? <sighs> Man. They're going to learn one day that jumping through walls is not the way forward. Ah. I, I, don't, I can't even believe I screwed up such easy parkour there. <laughs> This is the right way forward, right? Yeah. Well, that was going to fall out underneath me or something. Oh, shit. Come on, what are you going to spawn? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it's the explosive barrels. Okay. Um... You see how there's a second mod slot for the super shotgun now? I mean, it would be awesome. But I doubt it because of the way that they've introduced this new mechanic. I did definitely click in the thumbstick there, I'm just saying. There you go. Even made sure you could hear me click it that time. <laughs> Oh, I'm not good at parkour. <laughs> I feel like this DLC is going to have a lot of it. Huh. <laughs> oh, did we do it? First try? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to like what follows, though. What the hell is this? Nice. Oh, it's that stuff that makes you slow. There we go. say anything. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's why I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I was 
just going to say, oh, thankfully, it just seems to be uh, the normal ads. There we go. There we go. Taking off the proximity thing now. Oh! <laughs> Not what I was going for. There we go. Alright. Please. <laughs> I could tell it was going to be bad news the minute that I could see that purple stuff in the vents. <laughs> and minigun. I definitely don't feel prepared for whatever boss fight I'm assuming we're going to get. That, that, what, uh, what damage? Bronze Storm. What, what does... What? I can't remember what uh, Onslaught does. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I just missed this game so much. You don't know how much you love something until you stop playing it, you know? Hmm. There you go. I could have done that more efficiently with a glory kill, but... I wonder whether, like, Doom Guy is gonna die or something, and the intern is gonna become the new Doom Guy. I know what we're about to get, and I can't wait. <laughs> My son's curse has been lifted, and I atone for my sins. Oh yes. <laughs> All right, so use Sentinel Hammer to daze demons and refill your ammo. Hammer demons in groups to maximize resources. If it's me, it destroy weep. So it's essentially the new blood punch. Nice. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so daze nearby enemies. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Bam. Okay. is going to be so fun. And look, we're going to get lowered now into a tutorial area where we've got to use it. <laughs> it's typically how this works, right, dude? <laughs> I missed the teleport there, but I can guarantee it was some cool stuff. Uh, spirits. Yeah, that's the thing I wasn't looking forward to. Uh, I don't know where the spirit is. for this. Damn. Yep, blood punch is what I was after there, thank you. <laughs> oh, I hate the fact that the spirits are back. <laughs> <laughs> I will know when the spirits are here, though, because we'll be nearly dead. <laughs> oh, you know what? Bam. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Relatively easy to do it too. Right. Uh, I love how you can kind of tell how much health something has left with that little microwave beam. the issue I have about to run out of ammo. Nice. <laughs> That's not what I was going for, but... <laughs> nice. Come on. <laughs> Next, if we get this, then we can go over here. I'm almost out of armor, so... Nice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm full focus for a moment there. Right, we'll just call this one. Try and get them into glory kill state. <laughs> It's two glory kills and you get a free hammer. That's so broken. <laughs> You're gonna just be unstoppable by the time that you fight. Because that we you know there's gonna be like an upgraded form, right? It'll be like, oh you can hold two hammer charges instead or something. Oh look, it's Daisy. <laughs> Adorable. Really? <laughs> What's the best weapon for me to hold to get that in a thumb? Alright, sure. You know what? <laughs> Stone imps. Okay. Uh, Hope with full auto to gain bonus shotgun ammo. Really don't like this. <laughs> Stone imps. At least they're very like a visually different. It's not one of those things where like you struggle to tell what it is you're coming up against. There we go. I 
I've not used the full auto combat shotgun in anything by Dungeon. I think I used it once without realizing in Ancient Gods Part 1, so it's nice to mix it up. I bet you it makes for a lot better viewing seeing me mix up my uh, weapon mods as well, so. Thank you, Doom Eternal. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I was thinking it was a buff totem for a moment. Yeah, so there was a few things that I said that I was going to cover. I think halfway through the video time or whatever is perfect time to cover them. So that means all the truly devoted people out there get to know. I will be doing another giveaway for a season pass of this game so you can play Doom Eternal Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2 for yourself. What you've got to do to enter that is subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, leave a comment, I guess. <laughs> Leave a comment telling me what your biggest interest is seeing Doom go forward as a major player in the FPS like you know, era or whatever. Like, what is it that you're looking forward to seeing the most in Doom? This is the torch of kings. Lighting it signifies to all that a warrior seeks passage to the world sphere. You're not the only one who wants this mission accomplished. If you defeat the Dark Lord, any demon outside of Hell would be destroyed. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one. But uh, before I do go, like I said, giveaway is open. Anybody who subscribes, leaves a comment. Just tell me something that you're looking forward to, to see the forward, I guess, progression of Doom or whatever. Uh, another thing as well... Still running the fundraiser for special effect at the moment. We are currently on week two and a half, I guess. So we'll just bump it to three. The fundraiser is going to be running for another three weeks, potentially even four, depending on how long people want to keep it going for. The original milestone was, to, uh, I think it was £200. Yeah, it was £200. And it's essentially just to raise money towards a good cause. They're people who work very closely with software and hardware developers to create ways that the worlds of gaming can be passed on to people who suffer with disabilities that would otherwise prevent them from enjoying these type of games. And something as big as Doom Eternal, especially this DLC, shouldn't be something that people get like miss out on, especially if there's the opportunity for people to help them experience it. So uh, it's in honor of my late college lecturer who passed away, who himself was disability, uh, disability, uh, disabled, sorry. And, um, yeah, it's just anybody who can donate, the donation link will be in a pinned comment as well as in the description. I really do appreciate you all for supporting me during this. 
it's been one of the first major fundraising things that I've ever done. So it's a little bit scary, but uh, the folks over at Special Effect have been very helpful. And yeah, let's just continue to make a difference together. So as always, I'll see you all in the next one and bye-bye. Love you all.